outside fish community and welcome back to another world tanks constant video so in this video i got another tank review for you so in this video i'm going to be reviewing the tier 9 german medium tank the premium tank that you get for completing valor 100 if you have a premium account okay make sure you have a premium account before you finish valor 100 or valor 99 or which one it is if you don't have a premium account when you finish that up you will not get this tank okay so the Kampf Panzer 50T it's a tier 9 German premium medium tank it's the only premium tier 9 tank in the game as far as my knowledge is there I'm pretty sure it's right so I mean this tank review I'm gonna be Compare it to the E50 and the Leopard Prototype, the two tier 9 tech tree medium tanks for Germany. So, you see the E50 is right here because I was like, hey, the E50 closely resemblance, resemblance the 50T. I just wanted to include the Leopard Prototype just because it's a German medium tank. Okay. As you can see, the 50T has mental horsepower it also has the hor lowest horsepower per ton it has it goes 64 which is the same speed as the 50 but slower than the uh prototype leopard it has 20 reverse speed which is pretty average but the leopard prototype has more 23 it has the best part uh no it's mid fire chance 12 is still pretty good uh, track rotation is 34, so you can rotate faster than the E50. The E50 is slow at rotating the tank, but this is just a little bit better. Terrain resistance is, is tied with the Leopard Pro type. The turret speed is a little bit faster than the E50, but slower than Leopard. Now, as you can see, all three of these tanks get the same... I Identical, what well, they get the same caliber of gun at 10.5 centimeter, but as you can see, not all 10.5 centimeter guns are all the same. As you can see, the 50T's nine, uh, 10.5 centimeter re reloads the fastest at 9.19, and also is in the has an aim time of 2.3, has the worst accuracy at 0.33. It's moving. Moving the tank dispersion is at 3.17 and rotating the dispersion. Rotating the turret is at 1.27. It has the worst gun elevation and all three German medium tanks have 8 degrees of gun depression. Now as you can see why this gun actually loads faster than the other two is because it has lower alpha. At 3.20 on its standard and premium rounds and 420 on its high explosive. It actually has more penetration than the E50 on its standard and premium rounds. And has worse premium worse high explosive pin than the E50. Shell its shell velocity is pretty good at 1478. Oh, it's standard. Premium has 1,173, and high explosive was 1,173, which is still huge. The 50T has the worst DPM out of all of these not, uh, tier 9 German medium tanks, but having 2,100 DPM is not bad at all. It also fires the fastest rounds per minute. It gets 50 ammo which is pretty nice but your potential damage is the worst out of all three of these tanks at 16,000 you have the best turn armor at 250 at the front but the worst side and back armor at 40 on the sides and 30 at the back the whole armor is pretty good this is the 50T has a pike nose if I remember I'll throw up a picture of the tanks armor so it's got 120 at the front, 40 at the side, and 20 at the back. So do not side strike with this tank because if any tank has a 121mm caliber gun or higher, it will overmatch your 
side armor. You can, yeah. It also has the worst view range at 390, has average signal range at 750, you have 1750 hit points, which is the same as the E50, and war and better than the Leopard prototype. I forgot to make this red. Oops. And the concealment's pretty good at 0.3, uh, which is 30% concealment. It's better than the E50, but about the same as the Leopard prototype. And for the boost that this tank gets, it's only a 5% XP boost. So, you don't make any extra silver, you just make a little bit of XP. So, that was a quick rundown of the stats of the Panzer 50T in comparison to the E50 and the Leopard Prototype. And now we get to go jump into some gameplay of this tank. Alright, we ended up on Northwest and it's also a standard match. Lots of platoon with Dookie Brown. He's also, he's a streamer. He's a Twitch streamer. So, go follow him on Twitch. And right now I'm just sitting here. I don't remember exactly what tank he's driving. Oh yeah, he's driving the E50. But this ain't really a good comparison to the E50 right now. It's because his E50 is stock. So, yeah. He's got the little 76 mil, uh... 7.6 millimeter gun a centimeter gun I think or 7.5 centimeter gun one of those two numbers and yeah so he's got a stocky 50 and I got the call founder 50t I was going to drop my 50 but it's not fully upgraded and I thought his was so yeah anyway Right now, I want to go into the aggressive location down here to try to use my side, uh, try to use my frontal armor, and try to use some gun depression and put shots in the sides of tanks because they probably won't expect me down here. So the FE4202P was actually the only tank that come down here, and now he's running away, and the Conqueror actually puts a shot into me, but it ricochets off my turret armor. Turn armor is actually pretty good on this tank, and you have a capoller at the very back of your turret. But because your turret's so long, when you're using your eight degrees of gun depression, you don't actually see the capoller, uh, the cupola, when using your gun depression. So right now I'm back here sniping the lower glacis plate of a conquer. And since they're pushing on behind the corner, I'm like, okay, I gotta push up and go help them. Yep. And now I'm using the speed of the tank at 44, driving about 44, 52, 53. And coming to help him. And he's getting hit by already and hit er, hit by everybody up there that scanned the snipe. Like those TDs. And there's the Conqueror and like... Every time I pull forward, the stock wave was right there to block my shot. And I see a ch Chinese tank destroyer up there. So I want to aim at him. He goes away. There's the P44 Pantera. There's the Scorpion G. And I get hit by artillery. Which is nice. And I found this little location right here. Wait. Yeah, this is the location. Nope. I'm wanting to go to this location. Because it's actually, I'm pretty hold down right here. You can not only see my turret, and I can also use my gun direction, so, which also has my capoller. And right now I'm putting shots in the Holland Hound, or Hell Hound, or what, however you want to pronounce the name. And I just seen a little medium tank that popped up on right, right side, but I'm actually ignoring it right now. And there's the 50, trying to get shots on. There's a standard B trying to get my gun depression down. And put one into him. Hit his track. Actually tracked him. And now I'm getting assisted for tracking him there. And trying to lock him into place. But I missed his drive well. So, yeah. So, the 8 degrees of gun depression this tank actually gets is pretty handy. And you'll see later in this replay where I get to use my gun depression and also use my turn armor and right now I'm actually using my turn armor I turned around to actually see what the enemies were actually looking at and you could see the capoller was completely hidden 
And here's the Centurion 7 1 I want to put some shots into. And now I'm going to be using my gun elevation to put shots into the mouth shin and the Centurion 7 1. And I'm actually going to get the uh, ricocheting shots from the mouth shin and the Centurion 7 1. I almost shot that Scorpion G that ran down here. Hello, Mr. Centurion. I'm going to pull out and try to hit you. The mouth shin actually bounce off, bounces off of me. Centurion's actually going to come and pin me because he's higher than my upper plate, which makes my angling of the armor useless. Scorpion G just puts a shot, in the, shot into me. I don't know if I actually penetrated it because I was watching my hit points and the mouth shin takes me down because he actually puts a shot through my lower... He puts the shot between my lower glacius plate or the top little weak point on this tank, right below the gun. You can actually see the, the penetration down there. But yeah, that's how that went. Either way, we got a victory. 42,000 silver made, 3,532 damage dealt, and 1,200 block. So this is a little nice, good German medium tank. It has speed, and you can also use gun depression because there's really good turn armor. And when you use your turn armor and gun depression combined, you hide your compoler. So this is a really good to fight on ridge lines. And it has a really good gun, as you can see in the replay. Well, that's it for me. If you like the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, remember to subscribe because why would you not? And peace out. See ya.